There are two educations. One should teach us how to make a living, and the other how to live. We cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. Learning is not attained by chance. It must be sought for with ardor and diligence. To educate a man in mind and not in morals is to educate a menace to society. Of utmost importance is for you to enter the grand theater of life with the advantages of a finished education, a highly cultivated mind, and a proper sense of your duties to God and man. Powerful words, powerful minds, powerful leaders, Quotes from men and women taught using a classical and Christian educational philosophy. Today, as our country hungers not only for the wisdom of these leaders, but also for their moral integrity and character, where will we turn? Is anyone teaching our children to be leaders? Anyone training them both intellectually and spiritually? Where will the next Washington, Adams, or Roosevelt come from? Well. If history and academic performance is any judge, they will come from schools that continue to use a classical Christian model. Schools like the Oaks. Hi, I'm Jeff Gibson. I'm the president of the Board of the Oaks. Founded in 1996, the Oaks is one of the fastest growing private schools in eastern Washington and has already established a reputation for unprecedented academic excellence. For example, 100% college acceptance of all graduates, $63,000 in average scholarships per graduate, 8% of the graduates are ranked in the top 0.5% of students in the entire U.S. 38% of graduates are ranked in the top 3% of students in the U.S. Now as impressive as these academic statistics are, of even more importance is the personal and spiritual lessons the Oaks graduates take into the world. One of the most encouraging things is, as you see graduates leave is when they come back on vacation or free time and, and communicate to us or share with us how much they have appreciated the education that they received and how well prepared they are. They build this, this knowledge into you about scripture and you can use that in, in every aspect of your life. I'm so amazed at just the little things that um, come up in everyday life, at work, at school, and just the little things that I'm like, oh, I, you know, got that from the Oaks. What we're driving for is far greater than just bright students. We want students who grow up to be influential and make a difference and change the face of society and culture and dynamically interact with people. It's the same educational system that gave us Augustine. It gave us Shakespeare, it gave us Thomas Aquinas, many of the great scientists. And if we want to achieve those same things, then we have to go back to the old ways. I am so thankful for the education that I have. I am so thankful. And I hope that I can give as much to my children as they have given to me. I'm forever changed because of this, this 10 years that, that I've experienced at the Oaks. Every day I get to take students and seat them with the great minds in history. They have a conversation with the great minds. They get to sit and, and talk things out. And those ideas are relevant today. And I'm excited about that. We are imparting to the next generation uh, the tools necessary for them to be successful. I share in the vision of wanting to see our culture changed. Any person who's sincerely interested in education would take a hard look at what the Oaks is doing, would have to say, why am I not doing that? What's more valuable for them than growing in wisdom, than being with children 
that love God, that want to grow, where there is real peer pressure, but peer pressure to do what is good. What a blessing and what a worthy investment.